In the study of partial differential equations, the MUSCL scheme is a finite volume method that can provide highly accurate numerical solutions for a given system, even in cases where the solutions exhibit shocks, discontinuities, or large gradients. MUSCL stands for Monotonic Upwind Scheme for Conservation Laws Van Leer, 1979, and the term was introduced in a seminal paper by Bram Van Leer, Van Leer 1979. In this paper he constructed the first high-order, total variation diminishing TVD scheme where he obtained second-order spatial accuracy. The idea is to replace the piecewise constant approximation of Godinov's scheme by reconstructed states, derived from cell average states obtained from the previous time step. For each cell, slope limited, reconstructed left and right states are obtained and used to calculate fluxes at the cell boundaries edges. These fluxes can, in turn, be used as input to a Riemann solver, following which the solutions are averaged and used to advance the solution in time. Alternatively, the fluxes can be used in Riemann solver free schemes, which are basically Roussanov like schemes. <laughs> <laughs> Linear reconstruction We will consider the fundamentals of the MUSCL scheme by considering the following simple first order, scalar, 1D system, which is assumed to have a wave propagating in the positive direction. U T plus F X U equals zero. Display style U underscore T plus F underscore X left U right equals zero. Where U display style U represents a state variable and F display style F represents a flux variable. The basic scheme of Godinov uses piecewise constant approximations for each cell, and results in a first-order upwind discretization of the above problem with cell centers indexed as I A semi-discrete scheme can be defined as follows D U I D T plus 1 delta x i f u i minus f u i plus 1 equals 0 Display style FRAC Mathem D U underscore I Mathem D T plus FRAC one Delta X underscore I left F left U underscore I right F left U underscore I plus one right right equals zero. This basic scheme is not able to handle shocks or sharp discontinuities as they tend to become smeared. An example of this effect is shown in the diagram opposite, which illustrates a 1D advective equation with a step wave propagating to the right. The simulation was carried out with a mesh of 200 cells and used a fourth-order runge cut a time integrator RK4. To provide higher resolution of discontinuities, Godinov's scheme can be extended to use piecewise linear approximations of each cell, which results in a central difference scheme that is second-order accurate in space. The piecewise linear approximations are obtained from u x equals u i plus x minus x I X I plus one minus X I U I plus one minus U I X element of X I X I plus 1 
Display style u left x right equals u underscore i plus frac left x x underscore i right left x underscore i plus one x underscore i right left u underscore i plus one u underscore i right q quad for all x in x underscore i x underscore i plus one. Thus, evaluating fluxes at the cell edges, we get the following semi-discrete scheme. D U I D T plus one delta x I F U I plus one two minus F U I minus one Two equals zero. Display style frac mathrm d u underscore i mathrm d t plus frac one delta x underscore i left f left u underscore i plus one half right f left u underscore i minus one half right right equals zero. Where u i plus one Two display style u underscore i plus one half and u i minus one two display style u underscore i minus one half are the piecewise approximate values of cell edge variables, i.e. u i plus one two equals 0.5 u i plus u i plus 1 display style u underscore i plus 1 half equals 0.5 left u underscore i plus u underscore i plus 1 right u i minus 1 2 equals 0.5 u i minus 1 plus u i display style u underscore i minus 1 half equals 0.5 left u underscore i 1 plus u underscore i right Although the above second order scheme provides greater accuracy for smooth solutions, it is not a total variation diminishing TVD scheme and introduces spurious oscillations into the solution where discontinuities or shocks are present. An example of this effect is shown in the diagram opposite, which illustrates a 1D advective equation U T plus U X equals Zero. Display style u underscore t plus u underscore x equals zero. With a step wave propagating to the right, this loss of accuracy is to be expected due to Godinov's theorem. The simulation was carried out with a mesh of 200 cells and used RK4 for time integration. MUSCL-based numerical schemes extend the idea of using a linear piecewise approximation to each cell by using slope-limited left and right extrapolated states. This results in the following high-resolution, TVD discretization scheme D U I D T plus 1 delta X I F U I plus one two minus F U I minus one two equals zero 
Display style FRAC Mathem D U underscore I Mathem D T plus FRAC one Delta X underscore I left F left U underscore I plus one half carrot asterisk right F left U underscore I minus one half carrot asterisk right right equals zero. Which, alternatively, can be written in the more succinct form D U I D T plus one Delta X I F I plus one two minus F I minus one two equals zero Display style FRAC Mathem D U underscore I Mathem D T plus FRAC one Delta X underscore I left F underscore I plus one half carrot asterisk F underscore I minus one half carrot asterisk right equals zero. The numerical fluxes F I plus or minus one two Display style f underscore i p m one half caret asterisk correspond to a nonlinear combination of first and second order approximations to the continuous flux function. The symbols u i plus one two display style u underscore i plus one half caret asterisk and u I minus one two display style u underscore i minus one half caret asterisk represent scheme dependent functions of the limited extrapolated cell edge variables, i.e. u i plus one two equals u i plus 1 2 u i plus 1 2 l u i plus 1 2 r u i minus 1 2 equals u i minus 1 2 u i minus 1 2 l u i minus 1 2 r Display style u underscore i plus one half carrot asterisk equals u underscore i plus one half carrot asterisk left u underscore i plus one half carrot l u underscore i plus one half carrot r right u underscore i minus one half carrot asterisk equals u underscore i minus one half carrot asterisk left u underscore i minus one half carrot l u underscore i minus one half carrot r right and u i plus 1 2 l equals u i plus 0 0.5 phi r i u i minus u i minus 1 u i plus 1 2 r equals u i plus 1 minus 0 5 phi r i plus 1 u i 
plus two minus u i plus one Display style u underscore i plus one half caret l equals u underscore i plus zero point five phi left r underscore i right left u underscore i u underscore i one right u underscore i plus one half caret r equals u underscore i plus one minus zero point five phi left r underscore i plus one right left u underscore i plus two u underscore i plus one right u I minus one two L equals U I minus one plus zero point five Phi R I minus one U I minus one minus u i minus two u i minus one two r equals u i minus zero five phi r i u i plus 1 minus u i Display style u underscore i minus one half carrot l equals u underscore i one plus zero point five phi left r underscore i one right left u underscore i one u underscore i two right u underscore i minus one half carrot r equals u underscore i minus zero point five phi left r underscore i right left u underscore i plus one u underscore i right r I equals U I minus U I minus one U I plus one minus U I Display style R underscore I equals FRAC U underscore I U underscore I one U underscore I plus one U underscore I the function Phi R I Display style Phi left R underscore I right is a limiter function that limits the slope of the piecewise approximations to ensure the solution as TVD, thereby avoiding the spurious oscillations that would otherwise occur around discontinuities or shocks. See flux limiter section. The limiter is equal to zero when r zero display style r l e q zero and is equal to unity when r equals one display style r equals one. Thus, the accuracy of a TVD discretization degrades to first order at local extrema, but tends to second order over smooth parts of the domain. The algorithm is straightforward to implement. Once a suitable scheme for f i plus one two Display style f underscore i plus one half caret asterisk has been chosen, such as the Kurganov and Tadmor scheme. See below. The solution can proceed using standard numerical integration techniques. Topic: Kurganov and Tadmor central scheme. A precursor to the Kurganov and Tadmor KT central scheme, Kurganov and Tadmor, 2000, is the Nesyahu and Tadmor NT a staggered central scheme, Nesyahu and Tadmor, 1990. It is a Riemann solver-free, second-order, high-resolution scheme that uses MUSCL reconstruction. 
It is a fully discrete method that is straightforward to implement and can be used on scalar and vector problems, and can be viewed as a Roussanov flux to an abusive extent, called Lax Friedrich's flux, supplemented with high order reconstructions. The algorithm is based upon central differences with comparable performance to Riemann type solvers when used to obtain solutions for PDEs describing systems that exhibit high gradient phenomena. The KT scheme extends the NT scheme and has a smaller amount of numerical viscosity than the original NT scheme. It also has the added advantage that it can be implemented as either a fully discrete or semi discrete scheme. Here we consider the semi discrete scheme. The calculation is shown below F I minus 1 2 equals 1 2 F U I minus 1 2 R plus F U I minus 1 2 L minus A I minus 1 2 U I minus 1 2 R minus U I minus 1 2 L Display style F underscore I FRAC one two carrot asterisk equals FRAC one two left left F left U underscore I FRAC one two carrot R right plus F left U underscore I FRAC one two carrot L right right a underscore I FRAC one two left U underscore I FRAC one two carrot R U underscore I FRAC a C one two carrot L right right F I plus one two equals one two F U I plus one two R plus F U I plus one two L minus A I plus one two U I plus one two R minus U I plus one two L Display style F underscore I plus FRAC one two carrot asterisk equals FRAC one two left left F left U underscore I plus FRAC one two carrot R right plus F left U underscore I plus FRAC one two carrot L right right a underscore I plus FRAC one two left U underscore I plus FRAC one two carrot R U underscore I plus FRAC one two carrot L right right where the local propagation speed A I plus or minus one two display style a underscore IPM FRAC one two is the maximum absolute value of the eigenvalue of the Jacobian of F U X T display style F left U left X T right right over cells I I plus or minus one display style I I P M one given by A I plus one two T equals max row 
f u i plus 1 2 l t u row f u i plus 1 2 r t u Display style a underscore I plus FRAC one two left T right equals max left row left FRAC partial F left U underscore I plus one half carrot L left T right right partial U right row left FRAC partial F left U underscore I plus one half carrot R left T right right partial U right right and row Display style rho represents the spectral radius of f u t u. Display style frac partial f left u left t right right partial u. Beyond these CFL related speeds, no characteristic information is required. The above flux calculation is most frequently called Lax Friedrich's flux, though it's worth mentioning that such flux expression does not appear in Lax, 1954, but rather on Rusanov, 1961. An example of the effectiveness of using a high resolution scheme is shown in the diagram opposite, which illustrates the 1D advective equation U T plus U X equals zero display style u underscore t plus u underscore x equals zero with a step wave propagating to the right the simulation was carried out on a mesh of 200 cells using the kurganov and tadmor central scheme with super b limiter and used rk4 for time integration this simulation result contrasts extremely well against the above first order upwind and second order central difference results shown above. This scheme also provides good results when applied to sets of equations. See results below for this scheme applied to the Euler equations. However, care has to be taken in choosing an appropriate limiter because for example, the super B limiter can cause unrealistic sharpening for some smooth waves. The scheme can readily include diffusion terms, if they are present. For example, if the above 1D scalar problem is extended to include a diffusion term, we get U T plus F X U equals Q X U U X Display style u underscore t plus f underscore x left u right equals q underscore x left u u underscore x right, for which Kurganov and Tadmor propose the following central difference approximation: d u i d t equals minus one delta x i f i plus 1 2 minus f i minus 1 2 plus 1 delta x i p i plus 1 2 minus p i minus 1 2 Display style FRAC Mathem D U underscore I Mathem D T equals FRAC one Delta X underscore I left F underscore I plus FRAC one two carrot asterisk F underscore I FRAC one two carrot asterisk right plus FRAC one Delta X underscore I left P underscore I plus FRAC one two P underscore I FRAC 1 2 right where 
P I plus one two equals one two Q U I U I plus one minus U I delta X I plus Q U I plus one U I plus one minus U I delta X I Display style P underscore I plus FRAC one two equals FRAC one two left Q left U underscore I FRAC U underscore I plus one U underscore I delta X underscore I right plus Q left U underscore I plus one FRAC U underscore I plus one U underscore I delta X underscore I right right P I Minus one two equals one two Q U I minus one U I minus U I minus one Delta X I minus one plus Q U I U I minus U I minus one Delta X I minus one Display style P underscore I FRAC one two equals FRAC one two left Q left U underscore I one FRAC U underscore I U underscore I one Delta X underscore I one right plus Q left U underscore I FRAC U underscore I U underscore I one Delta X underscore I one right right Full details of the algorithm full and semi-discrete versions and its derivation can be found in the original paper Kurganov and Tadmor, 2000, along with a number of 1D and 2D examples. Additional information is also available in the earlier related paper by Nesyahu and Tadmor, 1990. Note, this scheme was originally presented by Kurganov and Tadmor as a second-order scheme based upon linear extrapolation. A later paper Kurganov and Levy, 2000, demonstrates that it can also form the basis of a third-order scheme. A 1D advective example and an Euler equation example of their scheme, using parabolic reconstruction third order, are shown in the parabolic reconstruction and Euler equation sections below. Topic. Piecewise parabolic reconstruction It is possible to extend the idea of linear extrapolation to higher order reconstruction, and an example is shown in the diagram opposite. However, for this case the left and right states are estimated by interpolation of a second order, upwind biased, difference equation. This results in a parabolic reconstruction scheme that is third order accurate in space. We follow the approach of Kermani et al., 2003, and present a third-order upwind biased scheme, where the symbols u i plus 1 2 display style u underscore i plus frac 1 2 caret asterisk and u i minus 1 2 Display style u underscore i frac one two caret asterisk again represent scheme dependent functions of the limited reconstructed cell edge variables. 
but for this case they are based upon parabolically reconstructed states, i.e. u i plus 1 2 equals f u i plus 1 2 l u i plus 1 2 r u i minus 1 2 equals f u i minus 1 2 l u i minus 1 2 r Display style u underscore i plus frac one two caret asterisk equals f left u underscore i plus frac one two caret l u underscore i plus frac one two caret r right quad u underscore i frac one two caret asterisk equals f left u underscore i frac one two caret l u underscore i frac one two Two carrot R right and U I plus one two L equals U I plus Phi R I four one minus Kappa Delta U I minus one two plus one plus Kappa Delta U I plus one two Display style u underscore i plus frac one two carrot l equals u underscore i plus frac phi left r underscore i right four left left one kappa right delta u underscore i frac one two plus left one plus kappa right delta u underscore i plus frac one two right u i plus one two R equals U I plus one minus Phi R I plus one four one minus Kappa Delta U I plus three two plus one plus kappa delta u i plus one two Display style u underscore i plus frac one two carrot r equals u underscore i plus one frac phi left r underscore i plus one right four left left one kappa right delta u underscore i plus fr ac three two plus left one plus kappa right delta u underscore i plus frac one two right u i Minus one two L equals U I minus one plus Phi R I minus one four one minus Kappa Delta U I minus three two plus one plus Kappa Delta U I minus 
one two Display style u underscore i frac one two caret l equals u underscore i one plus frac phi left r underscore i one right four left left one kappa right delta u underscore i frac three two plus left one plus kappa right delta u underscore i frac one two right u i minus one two R equals U I minus Phi R I four one minus Kappa Delta U I plus one two plus one plus kappa delta u i minus one two Display style u underscore i frac one two carrot r equals u underscore i frac phi left r underscore i right four left left one kappa right delta u underscore i plus frac one two plus left one plus kappa right delta u underscore i frac one two right where kappa display style kappa equals one third and delta u i plus one two equals u i plus one minus u i delta u i minus one Two equals U I minus U I minus one Display style delta u underscore i plus frac one two equals left u underscore i plus one u underscore i right quad delta u underscore i frac one two equals left u underscore i u underscore i one right delta u i plus three two equals u I plus two minus U I plus one delta U I minus three two equals U I minus one minus U I minus two Display style delta u underscore i plus frac three two equals left u underscore i plus two u underscore i plus one right quad delta u underscore i frac three two equals left u underscore i one u underscore i two right and the limiter function phi r Display style phi left r right is the same as above. Parabolic reconstruction is straightforward to implement and can be used with the Kurganov and Tadmor scheme in lieu of the linear extrapolation shown above. This has the effect of raising the spatial solution of the KT scheme to third order. It performs well when solving the Euler equations. See below. This increase in spatial order has certain advantages over second-order schemes for smooth solutions, however, for shocks it is more dissipative, compare diagram opposite with above solution obtained using the KT algorithm with linear extrapolation and super B limiter. This simulation was carried out on a mesh of 200 cells using the same KT algorithm but with parabolic reconstruction. Time integration was by RK4, and the alternative form of Van Albotta limiter Phi V A 
R equals two R one plus R two Display style phi underscore V A R equals F R A C two R one plus R carrot two was used to avoid spurious oscillations. Topic Example one D Euler equations For simplicity we consider the 1D case without heat transfer and without body force. Therefore, in conservation vector form, the general Euler equations reduce to U T plus F X equals 0 Display style FRAC partial Math BF U partial T plus FRAC partial Math BF F partial X equals zero where U equals Rho Rho U E F equals Rho U P plus Row U two U E plus P Display style Math BF U equals begin P matrix row row U E end P matrix Q quad Math BF F equals begin P matrix row U P plus row U carrot two U E plus P end P matrix Q quad and where U display style M box U is a vector of states and F display style M box F is a vector of fluxes. The equations above represent conservation of mass, momentum, and energy. There are thus three equations and four unknowns. Rho display style Rho density U display style u fluid velocity p display style p pressure and e display style e total energy the total energy is given by e equals rho e plus 1 2 rho u Two display style e equals rho e plus frac one two rho u caret two, where e display style e represents specific internal energy. In order to close the system, an equation of state is required. One that suits our purpose is p equals rho gamma minus 1 e display style p equals rho left gamma minus 1 right e where gamma display style gamma is equal to the ratio of specific heats c p c v display style left c underscore p c underscore v right for the fluid. We can now proceed, as shown above in the simple 1D example, by obtaining the left and right extrapolated states for each state variable. Thus, for density we obtain rho i plus 1 2 equals rho i plus 1 2 rho I plus one two L Rho I plus one two R Rho I minus one two equals Rho I minus one 
Rho I minus one two L Rho I minus one two R Display style row underscore I plus FRAC one two carrot asterisk equals row underscore I plus FRAC one two carrot asterisk left row underscore I plus FRAC one two carrot L row underscore I plus FRAC one two carrot R right quad row underscore I FRAC one two carrot asterisk equals row underscore I FRAC one two Carrot asterisk left row underscore I FRAC one two carrot L row underscore I FRAC one two carrot R right where row I plus one two L equals row I plus zero point five Phi R I Rho I minus Rho I minus one Rho I plus one two R equals Rho I plus one Minus zero five phi r i plus one rho i plus one minus rho i Display style row underscore I plus FRAC one two carrot L equals row underscore I plus zero point five phi left R underscore I right left row underscore I row underscore I one right quad row underscore I plus FRAC one two carrot R equals row underscore I plus one minus zero point five phi left R underscore I plus one right left row underscore I plus one row underscore I right row I minus one two L equals row I minus one plus zero point five Phi R I minus one row I minus Rho I minus one Rho I minus one two R equals Rho I minus zero five Phi R I Row I plus one minus row I Display style row underscore I FRAC one two carrot L equals row underscore I one plus zero point five Phi left R underscore I one right left row underscore I row underscore I one right quad row underscore I FRAC one two carrot R equals row underscore I minus zero point five Phi left R underscore I right left row underscore I plus one row underscore I right Similarly, for momentum, rho u, display style rho u, and total energy, e, display style e, velocity, u, display style u, is calculated from momentum and pressure. P, display style p, is calculated from the equation of state. Having obtained the limited extrapolated states, we then proceed to construct the edge fluxes using these values. 
With the edge fluxes known, we can now construct the semi-discrete scheme, i.e. d u i d t equals minus 1 delta x i f i plus 1 2 minus f i minus 1 2 Display style FRAC Mathem D Math BF U underscore I Mathem D T equals FRAC one Delta X underscore I left Math BF F underscore I plus FRAC one two carrot asterisk Math BF F underscore I FRAC one two carrot asterisk right The solution can now proceed by integration using standard numerical techniques. The above illustrates the basic idea of the MUSCL scheme. However, for a practical solution to the Euler equations, a suitable scheme such as the above KT scheme also has to be chosen in order to define the function f i plus or minus 1 2 display style math bf f underscore ipm frac 1 2 caret asterisk the diagram opposite shows a second-order solution to G. A. Saad's shock tube problem Saad, 1978, using the above high-resolution Kurganov and Tadmor central scheme KT, with linear extrapolation and Osprey limiter. This illustrates clearly the effectiveness of the MUSCL approach to solving the Euler equations. The simulation was carried out on a mesh of 200 cells using MATLAB code Wesseling, 2001, adapted to use the KT algorithm and Osprey limiter. Time integration was performed by a fourth-order SHK equivalent performance to RK4 integrator. The following initial conditions SI units were used Pressure left equals 100,000 PA Pressure right equals 10,000 PA Density left equals 1.0 kilogram per cubic meter. Density right equals 0.125 kilogram per cubic meter. Length equals 20 m. Velocity left equals 0 meter per second. Velocity right equals 0 meter per second. Duration equals 0.01 s. Lambda equals 0.001069 delta t delta x. The diagram opposite shows a third order solution to G. A. Saad's shock tube problem, Saad, 1978, using the above high resolution Kurganov and Tadmor central scheme (KT), but with parabolic reconstruction and Van Albada limiter. This again illustrates the effectiveness of the MUSCL approach to solving the Euler equations. The simulation was carried out on a mesh of 200 cells using MATLAB code Wesseling, 2001, adapted to use the KT algorithm with parabolic extrapolation and Van Albada limiter. The alternative form of Van Albada limiter phi v a r equals 2 r 1 plus R two display style phi underscore v a r equals frac two r one plus r caret two was used to avoid spurious oscillations. Time integration was performed by a fourth order SHK integrator. The same initial conditions were used. Various other high resolution schemes have been developed that solve the Euler equations with good accuracy. Examples of such schemes are the Osher scheme and the Liu Stefan AUSM advection upstream splitting method scheme. More information on these and other methods can be found in the references below. An open source implementation of the Kurganov and Tadmor central scheme can be found in the external links below. Topic. See also. Finite volume method 
Flux limiter Godinov's theorem High resolution scheme Method of lines Sergei K. Godinov Total variation diminishing Sod shock tube